The bombs have a devastating effect. For the past four months, the rebel-held area east of Aleppo city has been targeted by barrel bombs. Syrian government helicopters drop them almost on a daily basis, and they drop them on civilian areas. This campaign has forced tens of thousands to leave. There was a large exodus due to the bombardment. There are less doctors, vegetable sellers, bakers in the city. But those who stayed got used to the bombing. It has become routine, and people got used to this life. But many who didn't want to live that way fled. Tens of thousands either crossed into the government-controlled west of the city or further north to Turkey. This used to be one of the busiest neighborhoods in Aleppo city. Haidaria, like many areas controlled by the opposition, is almost deserted. Those who stayed behind struggle to stay alive. You cannot envy our situation, and the reason is coming from the sky. People can no longer feel safe and cannot protect themselves. The barrel bombs are not precise weapons, so they hit indiscriminately. They're also cheap to make. Oil drums are filled with explosives, scrap metal and shrapnel. Since the campaign began, activists say more than 1,000 people have been killed in barrel bomb attacks. The Syrian National Coalition, the main political opposition in exile, says what is happening in Syria's largest city is genocide. It has asked the United States to take what it called an appropriate response. But so far, the use of barrel bombs has only drawn condemnation. And so, some Syrians started a social media campaign to show the world how serious the situation is. Uh, we want uh, the world to listen to us. Our people in Aleppo are dying and uh, being killed by Assad regime. Until now, no one uh, in this uh, brutal world wants to stop Assad killing machine. But with Save Aleppo, we could make them listen to us. But apart from receiving messages of support, the Save Aleppo campaign has done little to end the civilian suffering. Life may go on in this city, which has been at war for almost two years. The barrel bomb campaign hasn't shifted the balance of power, but the government may be hoping to create division between the people and the rebels. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Antakya.